hey guys in today's video what we are going to look at is some module 3 pure maths unit 2 um multiple choice questions right so yeah without further ado let's get into the question we have question 31 says if m is equal to this matrix here the first row of the cofactor matrix of m is which one of these that's what they're asking us so what we have to understand is how do we find each one of these cofactors right how we find in this this and this right um what we do is we actually use the cover up method so we have to look at each element so let's look at this element here the one what we do is we cover up the row and column right um all the elements in the row and column of one so we cover up this and what we left behind with is this nice two by two matrix and the determinant of that would be right the first element or the first cofactor that we're looking for right i, I just referring to this um this particular answer because it nearby right but that is not to say that a is the answer right i just referring to it so um yeah so this is the nice two by two matrix that we have and when we find the determinant of that it will give us um the first cofactor so let's work it out so you have four one five six the determinant of that would be right the four by the six which would be what 24 and then five by one but it's minus five by one which is five so this would be what 19 positive 19 and you could actually watch this just peer at the answers and you could actually see that c could clearly be it, it, it clearly sees the answer right but let's work out the rest of elements and see if we get positive 12 and negative 10 right um so then we cover up we, we our focus would be element three and we're covering up the um all the elements in the row and column of element three row and column right and you would be left behind with these these elements here so you would, you could form a two by two matrix with those this is what you have here and you take negative two by two and what will you get you will get what will you get you will get negative 12 why does this happen to me sometimes i don't know my mind is just slow down i doing too much and then right so negative two by six is negative 12 and then zero by one is zero right so we minus that so we would get negative 12 but is it negative 12 because this is positive 12 and i told you all this is most likely the answer it's not not seeing negative 12 um no but you have to remember something here right with the cofactors the signs alternate this is very key right the signs alternate so it goes from positive and then you have to have a negative on the cofactor here and then positive and then negative here right when you're finding the cofactors so in this case here this is actually negative it should be negative the determinant of this so really and truly what i should have here is this i should bracket this off and put a negative in front of it right bracket this off and put a negative in front of it and you would get positive 12 here and that there is the answer right that's how they get the positive 12 there and let me work out the last one we're looking at element three here so you cover up the row and all the elements in the row and column of element three there and you will be left behind with this nice two by two matrix which you could find the determinant of and that would be the last cofactor there that we concerned with um it would be negative two by five which is negative ten and then zero by four is what zero minus zero so you would get negative 10 here right and that's exactly what they have here's your 19 19 there this is your 12 positive 12 negative 10 there so therefore our answer is c right so that's basically it so we circle c as our answer for this question 31 a pretty straightforward question so with that said guys i hope you all understood the solution to this particular question right like the video subscribe to the channel share it to somebody that you feel it will be beneficial to and yeah i will see you in the next video